Alexa, turn the bar lights blue. Alexa, turn the bar lights soft white. Well, the bar renovation is complete. I think it is 100% complete. I think everything in here is done, <laughs> finally. I'll give you guys a full tour of everything that we've done in here, and uh, I will link the videos in the description and in the card system for all the previous videos. This was a complete disaster. The, the water did not work, the sink didn't work. There was an old broken ice maker down here. Cabinets were all beat up. Mice had run rampant, and this was, uh, was, a, was a disaster. There was wires hanging everywhere. So I've said this in the beginning, of the series. This whole thing was built around this Tilza wine cooler or beverage cooler. This is actually um, a, what we use for beverages. We don't really have a lot of beer and wine and things like that in here, but um, this is uh, good for water pops. It's got a couple shelves in here. You can keep food in here. There's actually two different temperature zones in here. The top is a little warmer and the bottom's a little colder. So it is just barely below refrigerator temperature down there at the bottom. But this thing is, uh, is super nice. It's very big. And so we can put a lot of uh, a lot of beverages in there. Of course, we have the little mini automatic trash can, <laughs> just a small trash can down here for napkins and things. The floor is uh, the cheaper Home Depot floor. I can't remember the brand of it, but uh, this is just that vinyl plank flooring, and this was all sealed underneath here as concrete. And this is the first time I've got a transition to work really well, especially with this thick carpet. So we have a, a nice uh, nice transition along there from the carpet to the vinyl. All the cabinets were custom made. I have videos on all of these. These, All these drawers and cabinets work, except for this one, the one below the sink. Of course, this is a false handle, but this is a, there's a lot of space underneath here. Um, this one under the sink has a ton of space in it because we had to have room for this pump because all the cast iron pipes in the floor were corroded, rusted out. We had to run uh, that drain. I did a video on that. It's a pipe, one inch PEX pipe that goes up through that column into the ceiling and all the way down into the basement area and uh, cuts into a plumbing pipe down there. As you turn the water on, you'll hear it. So it just automatically runs and takes care of all that water. These, uh, these drawers, because of the way I designed this, <laughs> there's a lot of things you learn as you uh, once you get everything together that you wish you would have done differently. This is one of them. I wish I would have put more space here between these drawers. I didn't really think this through. So I couldn't put a handle here because when you open this drawer, it would hit it. So this is actually, there's three drawers here. They have soft clothes tracks on them. We got a lot of junk in here already. This is a nice deep one. These, uh, these all open and there's usable space cupboards here. And then I did make these so you can still open them. You just have to grab it by the frame and then these lift down. So we have a popcorn machine down here. It's all over popcorn. So it's not the best, but uh, it works, works okay. All new outlets and conduit have been all added in here. There's outlets underneath as well. This is all 20 amp, uh, 20 amp outlets. There's one there. The backsplash is quarter inch plywood. It didn't really turn out very good, but I just needed something to prevent things from sliding dust and dirt and crumbs and other things from sliding, you know, across the back of the counter and behind it. And so that's really all that purpose uh, is. The sink is, uh, is a nice deep sink from Amazon. Now this is actually supposed to go this way. Uh, it's designed to be in, in here a long ways or, or, or oriented this way. But because the space I have here between, you know, I don't have enough space to, to put a regular size sink in here. I got this faucet from uh, uh, just from Home Depot and it just barely works. In fact, I have to have it tilted a little bit so I can get this handle to open all the way. So I have the sink on a little bit of an angle, but even with it in the front position, it doesn't spill over. It also has a sprayer so you can you know clean up cups, wash dishes, things like that in here, get water. And this is a really nice, nice sink. It's got a, uh, of course, a drain plug, and it's got this little rack that that sits in it, which is kind of nice. I, my countertops are just barely not level, so I think I have to add a shim. This is not draining quite all the way, which is kind of irritating. We went with butcher block uh, countertops on all of this. These are just 
the easiest to install in this, you know, as a DIY thing. And this is all sealed with just mineral oil. So you do have to treat these or season these every once in a while with mineral oil to keep them from drying out and cracking and absorbing the staining and things like that. Uh, you can varnish these as well to give them a more waterproof seal. But uh, I like the mineral oil. It's kind of a natural, natural finish. Uh, and you, get to, you still can kind of feel the, the actual wood, uh, which I like. The sink itself is actually just siliconed in here, so I just ran a bead of silicone around it and slapped that in. Um, because of the thickness of this and the way that it's, it's kind of squished in here, I wasn't able to get any of the clips. I think I got one clip on underneath here, but it's fine. It's not going anywhere. Of course, as part of the entire lounge renovation, we redid all the walls on the back here. That was part of another video that we did, and so these are done all the way around. We added all these sconces, and I'll do another video on that and underneath uh, the bar on the inside. So just along, along the underneath of the entire bar on this side, and then also on the um, outside are LED strip lights. So those are smart strip lights. These are from Govi, and these are run uh, on both sides. There's a, diff there's a separate strip. There's one on the outside, one on the inside. Alexa, turn off the bar lights. Alexa, turn on the bar lights. Alexa, turn the bar lights blue. Alexa, turn bar light two white. So you can individually control them. So you have blue out here and then white on the inside. So you have full control over them. I really like how this looks in here. With the lights off in the bar, you still have a nice glow. So you could work um, around the you know, around the sink, you've got a little bit of light here. So if somebody's down here playing games or watching a movie at the bar or something like that, you still have a little bit of uh, ambient light there. All the switches have been replaced. This is just a mechanical dimmer uh, that I put on here. Most of the other ones are smart lights. This one is not. I chose to just use a regular one here just to save cost. But I do have the USB outlets in here. Um, I always go with the, the better ones that are expensive, but it has the USB-C and the regular USB outlet on it, as well as the 20 amp plugs. Since this is a game bar, this is a game controller, a little LED light, which we got off of Amazon. That's actually plugged in underneath the counter and there's just a little switch right here. It doesn't look the greatest as far as the wiring is concerned. There's really no way to hide it, but it looks kind of cool. So one of the things that I've wanted for a long time was one of these retro game systems. And so this one was an Amazon purchase. It's just a little thing that you plug into the back of the TV. It's a little USB or HDMI uh, stick. It plugs into the back and it actually has a USB cord that powers off the TV's USB port. And this has like thousands and thousands of games on it. I think there's, I can't remember how many, there's a lot. But it has all the old games, Super Nintendo games, Atari games, uh, Nintendo, Sega, all that stuff. Comes with a couple uh, PlayStation uh, knockoff controllers. And so this is just kind of fun to come down here and play some of the old games, Mario Brothers and Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, that kind of stuff course that's a smart tv as well so we can come down here we've got four seats and we can come down here and, and have dinner watch tv or something like that uh, or just kind of hang out uh, for family nights play games play cards at the bar uh, and watch youtube videos these stools were one of the first thing that we purchased with the bar uh, this was when we moved into the house these are all amazon purchases as well and these are very solid stools they weren't cheap but they are they are very solid uh, unfortunately, my cat has decided to poke holes in a lot of the leather, but uh, they're holding up pretty good for a few years of, uh, of cat climbing and scratching. Well, hope you guys have enjoyed the, uh, the game bar renovation. It's been a long one. I started this last year and just finally finished it. So if you'd like to check out all the videos from the very beginning to see what we started with to what we came to, it includes making cabinets. It includes uh, all of the, the lounge renovation and all the electrical and all the plumbing, and there's a lot. So if you'd like to check out those videos out, I'll put all those links there for you. There'll be a playlist that you can check out. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit thumbs up if you like what you saw. Uh, let me know any comments, any suggestions, anything you liked or didn't like. I'd love to hear from you guys. So that stuff down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.